is Roguewing, Coraline, or Helen R.D. over the Starship Modeler. Welcome to the workshop. Greetings. I know it's been a while since I gave you good folks any kind of an update on the progress in the Odysseus. Rest assured, it is coming along. We'll start down here with the little bitty stuff. Starting with the Aero Shuttle. Got the decals on her. Little teeny bit of detail paint. Still needs the coat of sealer over it, and then it's done. I have not progressed very far with the Delta Flyer. Still debating if I'm even going to use it. What I've gotten done so far is I've hand painted the engines. Now we get to our little speedboat shuttles. The Bussards and Warp Grills were hand painted on both shuttles mostly because the decals of that size just didn't want to cooperate with me. The rest of the detail on here is the decals that I printed up based off the ones for the shuttles I picked up from uh, Federation Models. I have not yet gotten decals on the Odysseus as you can see because there was one step I wanted to complete. I'm sure you've noticed I don't know how well they're picking up in the camera. I'll pick up better over here. These white patches well quite simply these white patches are still drying micro crystal clear. I have gone in and I'm in the process of filling all of the windows on the ship, including even the uh, larger bay windows. Hoping I can get some glare to show on. There we go. I should get some glare showing on them. All I have left to do at this point, dang, this ship is big. I need to come through and do the windows on the primary hull on this side and that will put us to the point of being able to decal. I have installed my power switches. As you can see it's still kind of rough. The plastic these bowls are made out of doesn't like super glue so what I've had to result, resort to is some Gorilla Glue to brace the switches in place. Now, gorilla Glue and some little pieces of wood plastic here is to keep the two switches separate so that on the underside we don't wind up with the circuits trying to uh, cross connect. I'll probably go in with some Aves epoxy sculpt and clean this up. But at this point we are definitely approaching the finish line on this build. Stay tuned. Okay, quick update progress wise here. I have now finished the filling of the windows. Next part, next stop on the main ship is decaling. I have also gone in with the Aves and made the switch section much more presentable. So at this point we're definitely ready for decaling. Still got to figure out how I'm going to mount the plaque. But at this point that's very minor compared to everything else. So Stay tuned.
Greetings. A uh, brief interlude while I work on getting the Odysseus herself decaled. Started working on decaling the bottom of the ship. And it's going fairly well, actually. My custom decals are working out just fine. Ran into a problem, though. Namely here and here. Those are supposed to be phaser strips. Namely, those are supposed to be the phaser strips you're seeing here and here. Got a slight problem. I swapped the nacelle, the nacelle struts. At this point, we are far too deep in this build to try to fix that. So, we're going to wind up with a uh, unique variant of the uh, Intrepid class. <laughs> but, as I spotted that, I figured I'd go ahead and share it with you guys. Pay attention. Any of you guys out there building the Revell Voyager kit? Those phaser strips on the nacelle struts go on the bottoms of the nacelle struts. Okay, we're back on shaky cam, aka the handheld, because as we all know, the Odysseus doesn't fit on my workbench very well, and I can't rotate her like I would like to. But what is the final reveal? We have our markings on her. Whole registry NCC 1978A. Lights are all working. including my little blinkers. I want to run a quick test just to see how well this works. See if the camera hates it as much as I think it will. Yeah, you can't really see a whole heck of a lot. But, can't see the shuttle bay most of our windows, warp engines, and the impulse engines. As we come down, we've got our navigational deflector going. As well as the lights in the bay. Give me just a second here. Get the light turned back on. There we go. That gives us a nice, a relatively dim light. But also shows off what I've done. In my hand is the arrow wing. Back down underneath here. Show you the way I've got the bay itself lit. All of our custom markings are in place. I'm going to, need to turn the rest of the lights back on. Sorry for the constant change in lights, but got our registry decals underneath, as well as as we come around. The shuttle bay, Odysseus, NCC-1978A, see if we can get this to focus, it doesn't look like it wants to. Uh, one thing I ran into with my custom markings was specifically on the markings for the striping. I didn't seal them well enough with the liquid decal film, so they wound up peeling. I wound up having to splice the ones underneath the nacelles to get my um, to get the 1978 registries in and get the striping to work.
the ship came with almost all the lifeboat decals I would have needed. If I hadn't added these lifeboats with the paragraphic set, these lifeboats would have had decals for them. They don't anymore. They didn't, so I wound up hand painting them in a color that's relatively close. Also painted in the uh, warning strips on all the phaser banks. And added to the base a copy of her dedication plaque. Now, I will pause this for a bit and get the stills loaded up. I want to thank you all for following the build and hope you enjoyed watching her get built as much as I actually enjoyed putting her together, flaws and all.